Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing my February favourites video, that's kind of hard to say, and I know most YouTubers upload one of these every month, but I've never done one so I'm quite excited, and apologies for the lighting, it's snowing outside so it keeps going dark and light and dark and light, and also there's going to be a blog post going up with this, and that'll be up probably just before this because my videos seem to take about 8 hours to upload, I don't know if that's normal, but that's how it is for me and it's really really annoying. So my first product is a makeup product and it's the Ico Cheeky Colour Blush in My Coral Crush and that's a cute little poem and it looks like this and one side's actually pink and one side's actually a coral colour then you flip this up and there's a mirror and it did have a brush in though I don't know where mine's gone. I've only just started recently wearing blushes because my natural skin tone is quite rosy and putting pink blush on top of naturally rosy cheeks is not a good combination. Though, as I've got older, I've started wearing like more high coverage foundations and I do need to inject a little bit more colour into my cheeks. This one is really natural looking and it just complements my skin tone a lot. It blends really easy and it has a little bit of shimmer to it. So that's why I love this one and you can build it up as much as you want so you can have it natural or if you're going on a night out, have it a bit brighter, however you like. Next item is also a makeup item and it's the Colour Parfait L'Oreal Paris Lip Liner in 657 Rosewood. It's kind of a mauve purpley brown nude colour, I can't really explain. But I bought this because I was trying to recreate the Kylie Jenner look for a cheaper price and if I went to MAC, oh, oops, basically when I overline my lips with this, it just looks really natural, like you can't tell that I've overdrawn my lips, which is obviously what you want, you don't want to walk around looking like a clown, and the lasting power of this is really, really good. My next product is the Lush Bubblegum Lip Scrub, and it's this really neon pink colour. And it smells delicious, it does smell just like bubblegum. And I know that you can make your own lip scrubs, but it smells really good. Like, I could not make something smell this good if I made it myself. And it's just really easy to pop in your bag or take it anywhere with you, and it's not. This just keeps my lips soft as it's really cold weather at the moment, so that's why I'm loving this. My favourite perfume this month has been the Britney Spears... I never know the name of this, I think it's the fantasy one. Oh, is it Midnight Fantasy? I'm not sure, but it's this one anyway, this bluey purpley colour, and this is such a strong scent, like, if anybody's wearing this perfume and they walk into the room, you can instantly smell it, and I know this is one of them perfumes that most girls do own, and it's perfect for the cold weather, as I think it could be a bit too heavy in summertime. Okay, so I have two hair care products this month, and this one I've been using for a very, very, very long time, and it's the John Frieda Frizz Ease Hair Serum, and... I don't know if they sell this one anymore, but I know that they do sell similar ones, and it's in this long bottle. Basically when your hair is wet, you put some of this into your hands and rub it into your hair, and once your hair's dry it feels really silky, and it's nowhere near as frizzy as it would be if you didn't use it. And you can get this in most supermarkets. The other hair care product I had is the Touch of Silver Purple Shampoo, which looks like this. There's also a once a week one of this which is less intense and two different conditioners as well. And anybody that has blonde hair has probably used this or a similar product. And it takes all the brassiness away from your hair as purple like counteracts the yellow. And it just leaves your hair a more silvery white tone though. I haven't used it in a while because I ran out so I've had to buy a new one. And that's why my hair is looking a bit more brassy than usual. The next one's kind of a normal product, but I absolutely love it, and it's the Dove Go Fresh Nourishing Body Wash, and this one's in Nectarine and White Ginger Scent, and it looks like this, and it sounds really silly, but I'm really, really fussy when it comes to shower gels and body washes and soaps, because sometimes if if it's like a delicate scent, I don't feel like it's cleaning me properly, even though it is, and they tend to leave like a weird scent on my body, whereas this one is, even though it's like a really feminine fragrance, it's really strong, and even when I get out of the shower, I can still smell like a peachy nectarine scent on my body, 
So I love this one and I don't think I'll be buying a different shower gel for a long long time. I absolutely adore this. This is quite a thick product like when you put it on it does lather up and it does actually feel really nourishing which is Okay so the next thing is a food item and it may seem really weird and I don't have it with me but basically I really really hate peanut butter that comes in the jars that you get at the supermarkets. I just think they're really dry and bitter and they're so thick in texture and I don't like it on bread so I've never known what to have it with but my boyfriend's the opposite, he's obsessed with peanut butter, he buys it all the time and we went to Morrison's and we basically just put the cheapest one in the trolley and when we got home we saw that it was actually a reduced fat one and we took the lid off and it was really watery so we thought it had gone off but we stirred it all up and oh my gosh it was the nicest peanut butter I've ever had in my entire life I know reduced fat things aren't necessarily better for you they often contain like more sugar or chemicals that are really really bad for you but it was so nice like it was a really runny texture so it wasn't dry in your mouth and it did taste a lot and my favourite snack at the minute has been chopping bananas into slices and, and spreading a coat of peanut butter on them. And even though it's banana and peanut butter and not chocolate, it does taste like sweets, like the Reese's Pieces and stuff like that. Because of the saltiness from the peanut butter and the sweetness from the banana, it fixes any cravings that you have so it is really good if you're trying to eat a little bit healthier and yeah so my favorite tv show at the minute is eastenders oh my gosh i've been obsessed with eastenders the who killed lucy beale thing oh my god it was so exciting i couldn't believe that it was finally showing because we've waited absolutely ages to find out who killed her I sat in my bed with my boyfriend and he decided to fall asleep so i had to watch it on my own and then obviously when i found out i did what everybody else did and talked to twitter and facebook and was like oh my god bobby killed lucy beale it was crazy i was obsessed and even though we've now found out who killed lucy beale there's still a good storyline going on with the card family and dean and if he's dead if he's been murdered if he's run off it's crazy so i'm still stuck into it and i probably will be for years as i've watched it from when i was little so they're my favorites for february and i'll probably be doing one of these every month or every two months i don't really know it depends if my favorites change because it'll probably be a little bit boring for you guys if i basically said the same things every month so yeah if you did enjoy then please 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 like thumbs up the video and subscribe and yeah thanks for watching bye